and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna talk about sunglasses while the sun is still shining outside. So I thought it would be fun to show you my sunglass collection. I don't have that many designer sunglasses. I got more budget-friendly sunglasses actually, except for the Ray-Bans that maybe are a little bit more expensive but not too expensive. Before I start, Please don't forget to subscribe, click the red button below, I'll also link it below and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I'll also link all the sunglasses I can find in the description box below so that you can shop them if you want to. I'm gonna start with my Ray-Ban sunglasses and my favorite pair right now, which you've also seen in my what's in my bag video. I'll link that one below. Those are the Ray-Ban. These are, I don't remember the name right now, but I'll link it below. These are the black and gold ones, more circular ones. And I love these. I've been wearing these so much this summer, and I think they fit with everything. I love that they are so light when I wear them. And I got mine from loveeyewear.no. These are my favorites right now. Ray-Bans really are my favorite. Number two of my Ray-Bans right now is these blue circular ones and I don't think they match with everything in my closet but a lot of it and I love the blue color, the cold blue color and I love the silver details so these are really comfortable to wear and they actually don't scratch that easily I can see that they are a little bit dirty now but you should think that the mirrored like these ones scratch easily but they don't and then we have the Clubmaster in brown with gold. These were my favorite sunglasses like last year and the year before that. I haven't worn them that much this summer though because I've worn the other ones but I still love them. They are so perfect to use and I've, they are covers a little bit more than the two previous ones. So when it's really sunny and I'm on the beach for example these are way better to use last pair of Ray-Bans, which is actually the first pair I got, I think, is the Aviator ones. In gold and white. These have become a little bit too big. I think I've been wearing them on my head. That's not a good idea if you don't want your sunglasses to get too big. But I kind of like them, but now I'm kind of also a little bit tired of them because I think everyone has them. And as you can see, when I smile, they go up. And I hate that. And they also like slide down, so I end up like having them here. So I haven't used them for a while now. I can also see that they're dirty. Oops. That's my four ray bands. Then we can go over to Kumono, which is my second favorite sunglasses brand after Ray Ban. The, you've probably seen me wear these a lot my Instagram and my blog which I'll also link below these are yeah almost a similar shape to the first Ray-Bans I showed you but they're like yeah the leopardish print and they're so comfortable to wear like I don't even notice that I'm wearing them so they're so perfect to wear these are besides the Ray-Bans these are my favorite this summer Another pair from Kimono. I actually had these in this color last year and I wore, actually wore them so much that this fell off. So now I can't use them anymore but I got them in red. Red, black, dark reddish and I love the shape of them. I don't use this, I don't use these too much but I really really like them and I love that they're so big. Uh, and they're also really comfortable to wear, but I can feel that they're like going out a little bit. So I kind of tend to lose them. But I like them. Next up is my favorite pair from Le Specs. It's these black and golden ones. I can see that I have a lot of black and gold in my sunglass collection right now. Uh, but the shape is kind of a cat eye shape, but it's more circular cat eye. And I love this one, the golden hair. It's so nice. And the matte black finish. 
I love them. They're also really comfortable to wear, actually. They don't slide, I can wear them on my head. And I know I said that you shouldn't do that, but these actually don't go out anything. Next up is Key. These are the My Girl sunglasses. I bought them last year with the blue mirrored glasses. And these are kind of, I kind of see everything in a little blue shade now. And I'm not really a fan of that. I like when you can see natural tones. Uh, but these are so bad in these ones. And, and now they're too tight because I've pulled them, pushed them together. But they go out so fast. This year I almost haven't used them. But I also like the cat eye. Um, shape of these, kind of like these ones, but these are a little more not so much like these. But these are silver and black, and I almost have no silver, so I kind of like them, but I also don't, if you know what I mean. Next up from Key is these white ones, and I can see that it's a tendency at the Key sunglasses because these also fall down like really easily. These are the white ones, and I really don't like to wear these. But I think they're nice, they're cool, they're a little bit different than all of my other, sun other sunglasses. So I think they're cool, but these scratches easily. So they got a lot of scratches on the glass. And that does not look pretty. Then next up is a pair of sunglasses from Shades of Norway by Lena Ulrik, which I'll, I'll link to her YouTube channel below. But she designed a few sunglasses last year with Shades of Norway and I think they are so cute. These are dusty pink and I love the shape, kind of like yeah, the other ones from Komono and the Specs. And I like the shape and I think they add a little extra to an outfit that is really simple because they're pink and they're, they're so much to, its, to themselves. So I like these and they're really comfortable to wear as well. And I got one more pair from the Shades of Normal by Lena Ulrik collection and it's these round ones. I'm not sure if they fit my face, the really circular ones, but I think they're cool. They're like 80s or maybe it's 70s inspired. And I kind of like them with like bohemian dress and all that bohemian style, you know. So, and they're really also really comfortable. I don't feel this at all don't have the same problem as with my Ray-Ban aviators, they don't go down on my cheeks and they're really comfortable. And the last pair is my Topshop Sunnies, which I got, I think they're like four or five years old. They're black and gold again and I love the shape. I don't use them that much but I really should because I love the shape of these and I love the color and I love the shiny black with the gold the difference to that matte black with the black with the gold yeah as you can see a lot of black and a lot of gold in my sunglass collection and i really need to step up my sunglass game because i want some dior ones and i want some tom ford ones and a lot of other but i i tend to not want to spend money that much money on sunglasses because i they always end up like in the bottom of my bag i'm really bad at put them in the, their folder, or what you call it. So they get scratched and they get destroyed and they, yeah, they just end up in my bag and just twirl around there. So that's not good. So I don't like to buy really expensive sunglasses because I don't want them to be ruined. But and maybe I should be more careful with them. And then maybe I can buy a more expensive one or two. So I really hope you guys liked this video, if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe, I make a new video every week, it comes up on Sunday. Next week is going to be my travel vlog for, from Spain, Palma de Mallorca, so I hope you're excited for that, I'll see you in my next video, bye!